Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. Today we'll be looking at using the count if function to highlight duplicate values using color as well. So let's say you have a list of invoices and as you can see we got about 600 invoices and uh, there's a few duplicate values in there. Uh, someone has typed in uh, the wrong number. Uh, so how do we find them out uh, easily? So we use the count if uh, function. Uh, counting function works uh, with this syntax. So what you do, you just select the range that you want to have a look at. So we'll be asking Excel to look at the range that goes from A4, this one here, all the way down to the end of our list, A671. And then we'll be asking Excel to look for the value in A4, uh, basically to look for this uh, 528. And if the, um, if it finds one, then all the, the, the result of this count if will be higher than one and then will tell us that basically there is a duplicate value. So we'll use this function in conjunction with the conditional formatting and I'll show you how to do it. So you click on the first cell of your range and then you go to actually first we'll, ta we'll just copy the formula, control C then we'll go to the first cell of the range, we go to conditional formatting and we create a new rule. And then here you want to select use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula is the one that we've just copied. So that one there. And then what we want to do is just um, select a format that will highlight duplicate value. So what I'm going to do is just select a red fill just to make it stand out. Click OK. OK. So this now this first cell has been uh, conditionally formatted and it looks like there is no duplicate value associated with 528. But what we can do is right click, copy and then we select the whole range and we go paste special and we just go formats. In this way the conditional format it will be copied all the way down uh, to the whole range. Click OK and as you can see now there's some cells that have um, a red fill suggesting their duplicate values. How do we find uh, basically summarize easily without having to scroll down? We apply a um, filter here in A3, go up here to sort and filter, apply the filter and as you can see now this drop down icon has appeared and what we can do here we just first of all filter by color and as you can see you can have just tells you what color is available there we click on it we want to highlight the red cells so click on it and there you go. And then I've already done this, but you might want to do it just sort smallest to largest, and we'll do that. And basically, now you can see okay, there are two values 135. You just need to decide which one is the one you want to keep, and then right click well, sorry, left click on the row, right click, delete row, and you're left with just one original value. As you can see now, because I've uh, deleted the duplicate value. Now that the conditional formatic says there's only one 135 so I'm not uh, applying the red the red formatting. So this is an easy way to use both um, counting function, function a um, conditional formatting and then the sorting by color uh, the filtering by color to highlight duplicate values in your Excel spreadsheet.